Good day. I hope everyone is doing great. Uh, my name is Munir Ajam and I am the Uruk coach. Uh, I just want to do a quick introduction about the Uruk platform. This video is not about why or the unique value proposition. It's more an introduction video to the overview of the Uruk platform. And that will be the first video in a series of demos. So this video is more of a presentation. Future videos will be demos of the different features and functionalities of the Uruk platform. Again, my name is Munir Ajam. I am uh, the person, the innovator, the coach behind the Uruk platform. It started years ago where we were working on a project management methodology, and then we felt that as a core principle, the methodology have to have two things. It has to cover the entire product life cycle from product vision until whatever that product or asset is in the market. That was the core principle for us when we were developing the methodology, and that was 2007. And the second core principle is that it has to be adaptive and scalable to, to be usable on different types of project and different domains and different sectors and different size, complexity, degree of innovation. That was when, in 2007, we started working on, on the CAMP methodology at that time, the customizable and adaptable methodology for managing project, and uh, that end up being the Uru platform. Um, I have been working in project management, uh, in engineering and project management since 1984, which is mean this year is 40 years, getting old. Uh, and uh, from 1990, I, uh, in 1990, I got a master's degree from University of California in Berkeley in engineering and construction management, and with, uh, almost 34 years ago. And with that, I shifted my career totally into project management, 15 years oil and gas and petrochemical industry, 15 years of management consultancy and training, and now a few years into technology and building the Rook platform. Uh, that's me in short. If you'd like to learn more about me, um, I'm sure you can find me in many, many places. Uh, this will be, again, a short presentation that talks about what is uh, the Uruk platform, what exists today, and what is the vision for this platform. And obviously, uh, as you can see here, we like to call uh, the Uruk platform as the engine of project success because the ultimate objective in everything we do is our customers and our partners and to help them achieve success. The reason behind all of this is that we still see too many failure in project across all domain and sector and industries uh, from infrastructure to oil and gas to petrochemical to, uh, to IT to technology. So we wanted to develop something to help our client change, transform the way they manage and lead project and obviously, in this case, we use the word project in the broader sense, which means project, program, product, and portfolio, or what we have been calling as the 4PM. Uh, I will stop here, and I'll go into the slide one by one, and I will be very brief. Uh, and again, we, can, uh, we have many other videos that explain more details. So with that in mind, uh, let's see what is the vision for the Rook platform. Obviously, the, the vision is bigger than what I'm showing here. However, what I want to show here today is only what is we are working on now, what exists and what's coming, which is hopefully by the end of the year, uh, end of this year, 2024, is to have the Rook platform move, converted from a project management solution into a solution for integrated portfolio management. What does it mean? Integrating project management with program management, with portfolio management, with all the supporting actions and tools, which mean all these six boxes here is which we call the sixth element of the Rook platform. Obviously, uh, the orange um, is basically what we call supporting element because they are really not core function. Uh, community of practice, which includes knowledge portal and community forum. Administrative is mostly just a, 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 you know team administration, uh, whereas the green are the core uh, element of the platform. 
So project element, project management, program management, the supporting actions and tools such as scope management, cost management, schedule management, quality management, risk management, uh, sustainability, uh, all of these uh, topics that exist to support us in managing a project and a program. And of course, we have a portfolio management uh, component, which we are starting to work on and we already have some module live with that in mind, this is another way of looking at the same thing, is that uh, obviously we have portfolio management, we have the program management, we have project management. On the left, you can see the supporting element, the administrative and community. On the right, you can see the supporting action, the project management function that we have. And the reason we show it like this is because technically it integrates uh, across everywhere. That's the reason we use integrated portfolio management, because the idea everything is integrated. Now, of course, integrated means some other things as well. However, we will leave that for a separate discussion. Uh, the core of the platform is the pro and that's what we started in 2007 with the methodology is the methodology itself, right? The project life cycle management methodological process. And in, in a different video, you might find online that we are publishing, and we have not published yet, we will be publishing soon called the project management levels. Uh, we talk about five levels of project management. This is level five, which we call the value delivery model, right? And uh, again, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, uh, into detailed description in this case, because we have done quite a bit of uh, other videos on this topic, and we will be doing uh, an ep a podcast, I think in a couple of weeks on this. And so, but basically the idea, why we call it value delivery, because if you notice when we, we get with zero here, get zero, is that is when we that is obviously related to the platform, uh, but we start there, you know, at the beginning of the concept stage with what we call the project brief, the product vision, uh, the business case, uh, the triggers. Uh, actually, the business case and project brief are developed during the concept stage, but we start somewhere, and the the start of a project for us is not a charter. Its start is a product vision asset vision, venture vision, whatever the case might be, an organization want to launch a new business, a new plant, a new facility, new hospital, that from that time when we start to think about it, whether it is a facility planning department or a strategic planning, that when the project start in here, we go through the concept stage, we go through the feasibility to do the business case, the justification, the feasibility, and many, many other things. And all the way uh, here, it shows that the PLC end with gate nine, which is the closure. Uh, however, you can see that green arrow. What that means is technically in, in the Rook platform, the PLC is closed with gate nine. However, the project is only complete. Let me play on the word a little bit. The PLC is closed, but the project is only complete, is not closed. Why? Because we still have success assessment that we need to conduct sometime in the future, post project completion, to validate the business case, to validate that the project is delivering to the anticipated benefit and achieve success or no success. However, obviously, we will achieve success, right? Uh, so, uh, so that is one. Now, somebody would say, "Well, you know, aren't you giving us here, you know, a cookie cutter that like?" you know, a, uh, uh, a fixed set in stone methodology. No, that's the whole idea. So remember the two principles we talked about. The first principle is need to cover the entire life cycle from vision until reality and success, meaning the product is in the market and it has been validated, uh, obviously, that it delivered to what the objective and the benefit that we anticipated. That one principle. The second principle is the tailoring, right? Which means uh, every, uh, you know, this life cycle could be totally different for different type of environment, different type of project, different preferences of organization. So here, what we see here, there are nine stages and nine gate. The project could be as little as ideally four stages, uh, and it could be 12 or 13 stages, right? And so that's tailorable, how many stages, uh, and also what goes into every stage, what needs to be done in every stage, what is the output of every stage, what is the decision at the gate should be, 
all of that is tailored. All of that is tailored in the Rook platform. You know, you can have whatever stages. I, I'll give you a quick example. Definition stage here, which is somewhere in the middle. In some organization, that could be called the planning stage. In some organizations, that could be called the preliminary engineering stage. Uh, or basically the product development or product backlog creation, whatever you might want to call it. Uh, or architectural design. Uh, it doesn't matter what the name of the stage, how many stages, what are the deliverable or the output of every stage, all of that is tailored within the Rook platform. Uh, so, and I, again, as we show in, in the future, we will be able to show some of these different tailored methods. Now, the rest of the story, basically, where are we today and where we are going, right? Current state, where are we today? Uh, the project management element, remember, we have the six elements. Uh, uh, the basically, the project management element includes things like the manage the entire project life cycle, pairs the value delivery model I just showed you. It ha it, so it is a stage gate model. It includes the stage management process. So we don't only manage across the stage. Every stage needs to be managed. And usually we do this according to some set of processes and include great agility to build tailored method as we have already mentioned. That is what exists. Program management, we already have it active as well as a simplified module right now, and we continue to modify it and upgrade it uh, as we move on. This year, we have the simplified supporting action, uh, and we call them simplified right now because what we have existing as of a few weeks ago is that uh, basically very few basic where it's... Uh, you can go in, for example, in the risk management area. You know, you cannot manage risk inside the platform. We assume you manage it outside. You will have an opportunity, though, to include some information in the platform so you can produce performance chart. However, what we are doing this year is we're starting to convert that totally. So, for example, right now, uh, we should be going live very shortly, uh, within this week or next, uh, with basically and we're mid-January, uh, with uh, the updated sustainability management module that we have done in partnership with Green Project Management. Uh, we will be, we will release the updated uh, task management. Uh, and then we are working, we'll start working for the rest of this month on updating the performance management and performance chart. And we will be producing uh, uh, executive dashboard. So that's what we mean here. Simplified right now is just a place where we can produce some chart. Uh, the new version that will be, which would be coming next, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, include a totally uh, uh, updated module or re potentially replaced. And I, I'll, I'll explain on that a little bit more. Uh, and then, of course, we have the community of practice and administrative, and we're starting to introduce portfolio management. Now, what are we building this year is uh, 25 plus built-in modules uh, or tools. Uh, for example, we divide those tools or module into two areas. The tools that support project and program management, such as scope, cost, schedule, change, earned value management, forecasting, sustainability task, issue communication, and so on. Right? All of these are being uh, either Obviously, remember, most of these exist in the simplified version. Now we are going to update them. Uh, you know, for example, uh, in communication management, there will be quite, quite a bit of information. In issue management, there will be quite a bit of information. Uh, raise an issue, how you manage an issue, how to resolve an issue, how you document an issue. And when we talk about modules like this or tool, that mean the process flow, the form, the template, all are built in. In addition... There will also be performance charts related to these topics, and there will be report related to these topics. That's why we call them these as like almost a mini tools or a tools, because each one of them could be almost an independent uh, software tool uh, that help us manage, you know, tasks or issues or scope or costs or forecast. Right. Uh, so this is part of the platform. And the second part is what we call the portfolio level tools. Uh, such as reporting, performance chart, executive dashboard, um, captured lesson, document management. Uh, now it's worth noting that captured lessons and document management are already live. We, we uh, released these recently, and uh, this month we are working on the performance chart, executive dashboard, and reporting. 
So there are a lot of things going in. Uh, basically, all of this is leading to the idea of, as we mentioned, integrated portfolio management. Now, if I am a senior manager and executive, I don't care about integrated portfolio management. What I care is I want to have a single source of truth. And by us being able to build all of these here, or, or in some situation, we might be integrating with tool. For example, scheduling, we're not gonna build an MS project inside our platform. We will integrate with MS project, right? But we still have a scheduling module inside our platform uh, that integrate with MS project. For example, there might be some other areas where we may not be building that inside the platform. We could be integrating with someone else in order to provide executive the single source of truth. And with this, I will conclude this video. And of course, you can learn more from visiting our website. You can go to the Oru platform site and actually start a trial plan. Uh, and we would love to give you a tailored demo. So it's basically one-on-one -on -one discussion, open discussion, open, honest communication with no obligation whatsoever. And for this, you can uh, reach out through my calendar link to my schedule, and I will be happy to spend some time with you uh, explaining, uh, understanding your need, understanding your situation, understanding the type of project that you work on. And then we can honestly tell you whether the Rook platform could actually help you, or maybe it's not. Maybe there is something else you need, right? Uh, and, and we have the courage to tell you, hey, you don't need us. There is something else in the market that, for, that give you what you need, probably uh, uh, more direct to your exact need. We have the courage basically to tell you, you do not need us. But if we believe we can make significant contribution to you, we will be stating so. With this, we wish you success today, tomorrow, and always. Munir Ajam for Oruk Project Management. Thank you.